Turns out you can make a pretty penny on ugly clothing. I'm not talking about the weird fashion forward gear they make the models wear on the runways. I'm talking about ugly, cheesy, corny holiday sweaters. They are big business now, apparently, and here's ABC's Ryan Owens. All right, one, two, three, get ugly. <laughs> From jingle bells to pom poms. Bigger is better. There is no garnish too garish for an ugly Christmas sweater. It's old. It's my Christmas sweater. On Modern Family. My mother's taste never falters. And Bridget Jones's bow. Never. The new ugly sweater is uglier than ever before. But if you think this extreme seasonal wear is just for laughs, think again. Now more little guys expect to make big profits. Jeremy Turner considers himself an expert in kitschy Christmas couture. He opened this Dallas pop-up store and even has a jingle on YouTube. Turner says he's on track to sell out of merchandise this season nearly 10,000 sweaters. If it has anything that's like 3D, so it's like <laughs> like my sweatshirt has a beard, it So has the a more bell. crap that's hanging off yes. of it, the better. His customers cannot get enough. But I kind of like this one because you get big Santa on wow. the front. Wow, and the ho 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 And a nice, furry right? nice beard too. Yeah. But this year, Turner has plenty of competition. They say it's ugly, I say thank you. That's what That was what I intended. Meet the queen of ugly sweaters. She started this pop-up shop in LA after demand skyrocketed on her website, shopuglysweaters.com. Looking at this, you might think, oh, totally, I'm gonna wear this, it's gonna be one of the ugliest. This is not enough. Want to make your own? She says don't forget to stimulate the seasonal senses. Flip on the lights, crank up the sound, and spice it up with some sparkle. It will glow in a very specific area. I'm Ryan Owens for Nightline in Dallas.